Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ati Allah, Ati Rasul, Ulul Amri Minkum. You know, as a reminder for myself, and abdukul ajisu da'ifu, miskeen, zalim, jahal. And but for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence. Alhamdulillah that inshaAllah tomorrow night, Monday night then the opening of the holy month of Rajab, Tarl Ajab and that Allah's month, a holy month in which Allah describes Rajab is for me and that my reward for the servant that no, no, no one knows what that reward will be free of cause and effect. And we pray that Allah dress us from the immensities of those lights and blessings and that inshaAllah open up the app, the Muhammadan Way app or go to nurmuhammad.com and get the awrad, the wazifa, the etiquette for the holy month of Rajab that uh, shower welcoming the month that making intention for a shower that I'm asking to wash away all the bad sins and bad character Ya Rabbi, asking to welcome your holy month. And if you start early people are worried, what if I, it's early, better to be earlier than late. So you start from tomorrow night and inshaAllah always look to when is Medina calling the month. They will say, we want to know Shaykh based on what you, it's not me, I'm nothing. We're all waiting for when Sayyidina Muhammad starts every holy month. Means that whatever happens in Medina is by authority of Sayyidina Muhammad that's his holy physical presence is there. So whatever they're doing then we start with our Sultan. When Medina starts we're welcoming it from wherever we are. So we shower at that time getting ready for the holy month of uh, Rajab and you read the awrad and what to recite and all of that's necessary for welcoming that holy month, its recitations and then the daily wazifa that anybody wishing to recite the daily etiquette on uh, the du'as of istighfar, the, 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 the highway, highway bandit of Rajab, the saint of Rajab they describe somebody who had lots of badness, lots of uh, bad character but for the sake of Rajab and love for Allah stopped everything for the month of Rajab to recite a du'a and achieved sainthood as a result of respecting the holy month of Rajab. As Salaamu Alaykum Wa Rahmatullahi Wa Barakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. Job. And by reciting that du'a and asking istighfar, that du'a is also on the app called the Saint of Rajab, the du'a of the Saint of Rajab. So all of the etiquettes are there, they should have been sent in the emails. So please don't unsubscribe from email that comes out to teach and to, to keep one connected to the shaykh. It's like cutting your string and then emailing back that, oh when are events are happening? <laughs> Why did you unsubscribe and make yourself not know and not aware of the events that are happening? So everything is based on good manners, good character and we pray that Allah dress us from the immensities of these lights and these blessings. Subhana man huwa khaliq nur that this is a month of light, this is a month in which Allah grants sainthood, grants lights, grants realities. So alhamdulillah this is the month in which to do good, to do more, to feed, to, to do all of these good khidmat and services. If you can't feed then support us to feed. So either way people are being fed and being fed in Pakistan, India, Vancouver, Los Angeles, Chicago. <coughs> so mashaAllah wherever we can, Kenya, 
if uh, Tawfiq's back <coughs> we try to do as much as we can to the places that our students are at. So alhamdulillah everybody participates in these activities, give water in this month, feed the orphans, pediatric programs that we have to help them and help their conditions. And uh, there's some programs with the US doctors trying to help our, our Pakistani crew and the Pakistani doctors and inshaAllah things can begin to work out for them and work out with the group. There's big differences because you're dealing with societies that don't have. So it, it's a big difference from you know US doctors and what they're used to. And inshaAllah Allah give more and more to our groups in Pakistan and, and more <laughs> khidmat and more power so that they can do more and, and uh, we can help more. So alhamdulillah it's an immense month of blessings, immense month of service. We pray that Allah dress us and bless us and then in the end we're asking for the nazar of Sayyidina Muhammad to watch over us and that he find any good in our actions and in our deeds and that he intercedes for us in the presence of Sayyidina, in the presence of Allah so that to be dressed and blessed for ourselves, our family and our communities. If we think that we have achieved anything then alhamdulillah you are an ambassador for your children and your loved ones and your descendants and grandchildren. Children that you don't even know have come yet, that Ya Rabbi grant them to be blessed and a good life and that they live a life of faith and that they live a life and die with the ocean of faith to be with the, the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and to be under the nazar and guidance of awliyaullah fi samahi wa fil ard. So alhamdulillah so much opportunity for us, so many blessings for us and this is the holy month of 63. The life of Sayyidina Muhammad 63 years on this earth and the holy Qur'an, Surat al-Qur'an that dressing us and blessing us. Surah Munafiq which is the, the, the polar opposite of love that we talked about in the last few months and entering a, a month of love and entering the realities from Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq that gave to us in the holy month before Rajab opens that to be a Siddiq, to take the way of a truthful servant. And alhamdulillah that he gave for us the secret of truthfulness is not the one whom truthful with their hands, their, their mouth and with their prayers but the one whom achieved a, a unique truthfulness within their muhabbat. They're true to their love, Sadiq al-Ishq that they're true in their love for Allah and that they're true in their love for Sayyidina Muhammad and that that love governs them and overwhelms them and as a result of that love they sacrifice. As a result of that love they endure, they take whatever difficulties they physically is put upon them, spiritually put upon them, it's all for love. It means to be truthful and to stand to that love, to stand by that love that whatever Allah wants for us inshaAllah you find me to be patient. Our, our great-grandfather Sayyidina Ismail as, -salam, as he told his father Sayyidina Ibrahim that, don't worry father inshaAllah Allah made me to be patient with whatever test. Even in the sight of a knife that coming to cut his throat, his du'a that Allah find me to be patient through this difficulty. Not that don't make the knife to work, don't make me to be tested like this but grant me patience Ya Rabbi for whatever you have written for me, grant me patience to endure that type of difficulty. And that they stood by that as a ishq and a love, that's the love we're talking about. And that when the servant understands that's the goal, the supreme goal is to keep that love for Allah and for the sake of Allah don't break your covenant. Means that that then transfers because Allah explains that if you want my love then you follow whom I love and keep that loyalty to Sayyidina Muhammad 
As a result their heart and that love then was directed to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad means then to have the love of Prophet, have the love of nasheeds, have the love of the Holy Sunnah, have the love of everything related to Sayyidina Muhammad the love of good character that was dear to Prophet the love of the Holy Sunnah that you pray the fard because of your love for Allah and you pray the Sunnah for your love for Sayyidina Muhammad because it's what he left, that I did this because Allah ordered and I did this Sunnah as an expression of my love. So then the lovers they follow what Allah ordered and they follow the sunnah and the example of what Prophet That's love. When somebody says, I don't have to pray sunnah because I pray the mandatory, but that's an expression, that's not an expression of love to Sayyidina Muhammad because he comes to you and says, I prayed the two extra to show my love for Allah If you love me, pray that too. So means in every act that we're doing there is a way to express our love for Allah at the same time expressing our love for Prophet So when people come back and say, well you know sunnah we don't have to do that, we don't have to wear that, we don't have to look like that, we don't have to even pray that. You know you don't but if you love whom Allah loves, you did what Allah asked of you. And now you, you do with all your sincerity and love to the best that you have the ability is to express our love for Sayyidina Muhammad So when we do and enact the sunnah it's an expression of immense love. Sayyidi Ya Rasulul Kareem that you laid for us this way, this is your way and to uphold your way that gaze upon me, that keep your nazar upon me and dress me from your immense blessings. So they find every sunnah that they possibly can and they revive it for the sake of that love. So that to gain the nazar and the presence and the reality and the dress and ishq of Sayyidina Muhammad And then what the holy companions teach of us is that if you have that type of love you've attracted now our love because every sunnah has a secret of the holy companions that they come to accompany the sunnah because that's the expression of the love for Sayyidina Muhammad So means this, this bond of ishq, this bond of compassion, this bond of good character is so immensely loaded beyond the, the people of external knowledge. Because they debate, well it's a sunnah brother but you don't have to do it. But if you understood the reality that this is an expression of love and you're trying to express and gain the nearness to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad how could you not do it? If you're a shaqeen, so your whole life is, how can I do these? How can I gain your nazar? How can I keep your nazar? And then the holy companions are coming and teaching us, if you do do those things and do have that love, we're dispatched to watch over you for every sunnah has its reality. That you carry the cane and of the love and the revival of Sayyidina Muhammad sunnah to show the azimat of Allah that the Muhammadan kingdom is well and alive and they keep the way. Many times you walk and people say, what's that? He say, this is the sunnah, this is the prophetic way of the way of Sayyidina Muhammad And now the holy companions giving to us that we're that sunnah, that the one whom carries that reality carries our support and our madad and that we accompany that way to support them, to dress them, to bless them. Because it's an act of love, they won't because they, they're the, the kings of Ashaqeen. They gain their, their companions, the holy sahabi and companions 
There's no one like them because nobody can keep the companionship of Prophet You can't redo it, it came once in history, you can only be ashiqeen now. But the ones whom achieved companionship, lived and died for companionship, Allah's teaching that's a title that came once. Because of the physicality they achieved it, they lived and died by it. So that was an immense expression. So imagine then they say, of course we lived and died for that love. You think how happy it makes us when somebody's trying to keep his way and keep his way alive to the day of judgment. So of course our madad and our support is with you. So then means then there's a gift in every sunnah of Sayyidina Muhammad And we pray that Allah enlighten us, dress us and bless us and create this ishq and love and muhabbat that endures all difficulties and, and supersedes all shortcomings. For the one who comes with his own actions thinking his actions or her actions have a, have a weight and a strength and a power, it's nothing in comparison to the one who comes negating, say, Ya Rabbi I don't have anything that I want you to be looking at except my love for Sayyidina Muhammad I'm doing everything that you ordered of me and I'm trying my best to keep the expression of my ishq and love for Sayyidina Muhammad and by means of that love save me, save my family, save my community and all those whom are dear to me. And that gains the nearness and the ishq and muhabbat of Sayyidina Muhammad that the, the sun and the light of all creation that Allah gives that power of that light to the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad is that nazar, that shine your light upon me. For if my Lord shines His light upon me, I'm everything. And if He should keep His light from me, I've been cast into darkness for eternity. Our life is to be under that light and under that nazar. We pray that Allah dress us from the immensity of that beauty and the immensity of these lights that are opening up in the next night and so. InshaAllah Subhana Rabbika Rabbil Izzat Amma Yasifoon Wa Salaamun Al Mursaleen Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa Hurmati Muhammad Al Mustafa Basiri Surat Al Fatiha